Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am finally doing my what is in my hospital bag video. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys what I packed in my hospital bag. Um, again, I am having twins and I, so I don't really know if I'm gonna have, I'm hoping for a vaginal birth, but I may end up having a C-section. So I'm kind of packed and prepared. I'm hoping for both. Um, you know, one, one way could end up being just a quick two day um, hospital stay and then the other could be you know a three to five day hospital stay so I'm just trying to be as prepared as I can I do want to say I've watched so many of these videos and I feel like every single one of them the woman prefaces her bag you know contents basically saying like I'm a first-time mom I'm sure I've overpacked I know I've overpacked you know yada 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 I'm like apologizing because she knows the comments are coming about you're bringing too much stuff you're whatever blah 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 my thing is like unless you're the person that is like helping me carry the bag you don't get a say in what I take and what I don't take and I feel really bad for women who feel like they have to constantly justify what they're bringing to the hospital because somebody else might think it's too much girl you are the one having the baby if you want to bring the contents of your entire bathroom do it if you want to bring all your curling irons and makeup and all that kind of stuff do it just whatever you want to bring bring so all I'm gonna say about that, let's move on to what I'm bringing. So I'm gonna share with you what I packed. Again, what you pack might be totally different. I'm also gonna share with you what I am bringing for the twins as well. So we just have a suitcase is what we are bringing. Um, it's a rolling, one of those really like lightweight, weighs like four or five pounds suitcase. And it's for both my husband and I. In the top compartment for my husband here, I just have some underwear and socks for him. I have some socks for me. These are like the little grippy ones. And anything that I can, I will link down below in the description box. Um, if it's something that I bought to put in the bag or whatever, I will link it. These I got from Amazon, Pembroke um, No Skid Socks. I got two pairs. Okay, and we're gonna talk for just like two seconds about granny panties because every time I watch these videos, the, <laughs> the mom is always like, Okay, so I'm packing some granny panties, and then she holds up these underwear that are not granny panties. They're just like full coverage underwear. I don't know what kind of underwear y'all are wearing on the regular, but if that's your version of granny panties, let me show you what granny panties are. Them's are granny panties. The kind of panties that go up above your like belly button. <laughs> just crack up. Like these are big granny panties. And I watch these videos and sometimes women are like, I'm bringing some granny panties and they hold up just like this, you know, full bottom underwear. I'm like, y'all must be living in G-strings all the time or something because that is not granny panties. Anyways, I'm bringing some granny panties. I actually really like the mesh underwear that they give you at the hospital, but de again, depending on how long I've been there, by the time I'm ready to go home, or if I've had a C-section, will all depend on what I want hitting what part of my belly and all that kind of stuff. So I'm bringing myself some options just in case I'm ready to get out of the mesh underwear by the time I go home. That's what we have in that top zipper there. It's just underwear, socks, that kind of thing. I am also bringing a towel with me. This is gonna be different for everybody, but my hospital just gives you those little like oversized hand towels, which are not enough to dry off your big toe. So this came as like a gift with purchase, something I got from Ulta, so I just threw this in here. It's just like a nice sized towel. Um, and this company sent me these things, and I am gonna be bringing them. It's a gowny. It's basically um, a hospital gown. It's, it's approved for use in hospitals. It's the same thing, same cut and everything of gown, just different patterns. And I picked this kind of blue pattern. I just thought it was really pretty. They sent me actually a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm gonna bring the gowny and the robe that goes over it. So for labor, I can, we'll see. I hope to be able to wear like a cute little gown like that and then just the robe or something if I'm gonna be walking the halls. Again, I have no idea if I'm gonna be induced or going to labor on my own or what's gonna happen, but I have that stuff to bring with me should I want to wear it. I'm not gonna show you my husband's clothes cause that's just boring. I was surprised by how much he packed. I just told him, give me your stuff and I'll pack it. But he brought um, just some shorts, a few t-shirts, um, underwear and sweatpants. I did request that he pack some light colored, not white, but like nice light colored t-shirts, like a light blue or something so that when I take pictures of him with the babies, he's not wearing like a bright red or bright orange t-shirt. So I just requested that he bring some light, soft colored things. Now this is just my little food bag that's in here. And this is for 
um, you know, this is for labor, this is for my husband, this is, you know, they, they usually provide food for mom after delivery, um, but sometimes they don't always for dad. Um, and you, again, you just never know in the middle of the night when you're going to be up and hungry or whatever. She's got some fig bars in here. Packed my husband some of this really good jerky that we both really like. I packed him a trail mix. This might seem really odd, but I packed a whole bunch of these little tiny creamers. The reason I did that is because our hospital, every time I've had a baby or been there when my sister's had a baby or whatever, our hospital is like notorious for the coffee machines having no creamer. They'll have coffee and sugar, but no creamer. And um, my husband drinks a ton of coffee, and I'm sure if we're in the hospital with twins, he'll be drinking even more coffee. So I wanted to make sure that he had creamer. So I packed those for him so that he will always have enough creamer for his coffee. Now for me, after the babies are born, I packed um, just two of these, I've shown these before, these nightgowns that I got from Walmart. They are nursing, they have the little snaps here for nursing, um, and they're just long, like knee length nightgowns. So I packed a gray one and a pink one, and that's what I hope to wear um, after the babies are born. And then I also packed my robe from Pink Blush that I love. So all those kind of go together and I should hopefully be able to, you know, nurse and have my robe after the babies are born. And then for coming home from the hospital, it's very hot where we live. So I'm just keeping it super, super simple. And I got this little, um, just t-shirt maxi dress. It's just a burgundy color, it has pockets. It's turned inside out, but it's long, it's floor length. But it's just a burgundy t-shirt maxi dress and I think that will be really comfortable because whether I have a c-section or not it's not going to be tight on anything it's not going to squeeze on my stomach or anything like that um, it's nice and loose and flowy and just comfortable and really because of swelling I only have one pair of shoes that I pretty much wear and it's just a pair of like black comfort fit flip-flops so those will, what, those will be what I wear to the hospital and those will be what I wear home from the hospital. So I didn't pack any other shoes or anything like that. Just um, those black flip flops is what I'll wear with this burgundy dress for my, you know, leaving the hospital outfit. Now I packed this little bag to keep next to me. Um, uh, you know, they give you like a little table and it slides up next to your bed. And this is what I'm just gonna keep next to my bed. And it just has a few like little essential things for me so I don't have to ask anybody um, to get me stuff if I can't get up or down. In here I just have some headphones so that I can listen to my um, music on my iTunes and stuff like that or audiobooks or whatever you know I feel like listening to when I'm in labor. I also pack some of these La Fresh Travel Light Feminine Hygiene Wipes. I feel like there's no explanation needed for those. Sometimes you just need to clean stuff up, boobs, armpits, whatever, you know, you got going on. So uh, once you have an epidural, you can't really get out of bed. So I'm packing some of those so that if I feel like I need to freshen up, if it ends up being a really long process or something, I can freshen up. Just some bobby pins, self-explanatory. I packed a few of these. Um, I think they're called Wisp. They're just by Colgate. They're these little tiny, like, mini toothbrushes that have the toothpaste built in um, and a little toothpick on the other end just so you can kind of freshen your teeth freshen your breath again if i need to if i can't get out of bed yet but i want to be able to like freshen my mouth up a little bit i packed a few of those um, just a little tiny travel size of this amica dry shampoo in case i need to or feel like fluffing up my hair a thing of my favorite lip balm this is the smith's minted rose lip balm so Hospital air is really dry, um, so definitely gonna need some kind of chapstick or lip balm. And then I also have in here my Mother Love Nipple Cream. So this is, you know, obviously for after the girls are born if I need it um, for cracked, sore nipples. Thing of um, lotion, this is Soft, Soft, Soft Triple Moisture Body Lotion. It has a really light, light coconut scent. So I didn't want anything too strong. It has a really light scent. So just some lotion in case I need it. And all that stuff will stay in this little um, bag. I can also fit my phone in here um, and just be able to keep this next to me organized so that I don't have stuff everywhere and I don't have to ask people to hand me stuff and dig through my bag. I can just have my little stuff I need right there. My toiletries bag. This is obviously for after they're born, for showering. Again, if I'm only there for two days, I will shower off my body, but I probably will not wash my hair 
how how long I'm there and what part of my hair cycle I'm in, which sounds so um, high maintenance, but I only wash my hair like every four-ish days. So just depending on what part of my hair cycle I'm in when I go to the hospital, I might have to wash my hair while I'm there. Hopefully not, we will see. Um, but anyways, in here I just have breast pads. Again, my milk probably won't come in until I get home, but if I have a C-section in there a while or you know whatever, it might. So I'm bringing some of those because I am a person that needs them. My favorite deodorant um, that I just picked up more of at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I have a hairbrush, just a, like a smaller sized hairbrush. This little mini cute travel razor just to shave up my armpits. That's probably the only thing I would be worried about shaving at this point. This I will actually probably move to that other bag after the girls are born. This is some Arnica and some After Ease. If you've ever had a baby, I think it's more common with second and after babies, but your uterus as it contracts to go back down, it can be quite painful, almost like being in labor again. But this Arnica and After Ease are things that you take orally and they can help with that pain that you get in your uterus after you have the baby. Just have some little pads and eye makeup remover. What I do is just throw in little samples that I have of shampoo, conditioner, body wash, Instead of bringing for full bottles or jars, I just bring whatever samples I currently have under my sink. Then again, I just bring travel size stuff I have of skincare, just some cleanser, some moisturizer, and some eye cream. And I do have in here, um, I use like the sensitive toothpaste because I have sensitive teeth, um, and a little travel toothbrush. And I just have some Sephora makeup removing wipes. That's like all my toiletry stuff that I will be bringing. That's what I grabbed him from Target. It's just a nine piece travel kit. It has a razor, deodorant, body wash, some shaved cream, just man stuff. And then as far as makeup goes, I'm sitting on my makeup desk where I do my makeup every day or the days that I do it. I just have a little clear bag and I've just been doing my makeup out of that bag. So all I have to do is just grab that little makeup bag and throw it in here. Again, that's very personal and different for everybody. Some people, you know, are all about a full face of makeup every day. Some people wear no makeup at the hospital. Whatever you feel comfortable with, I don't know. It will just depend for me. Um, I don't, I don't think I wore any makeup at all when I delivered Kennedy or Shelby. I think after Shelby was born, I put on a little concealer and some mascara. So like I said, I'm bringing my makeup just because I don't know how long I'll be there, and but I don't know how much of it I'll feel like using. So we'll just have to wait and see. As far as the twins go, I'm just bringing their diaper bag. That's what I'm putting their stuff in. I'm not bringing a ton of stuff for them. At least in my opinion, I'm not bringing a ton of stuff for them. This little front compartment here, I just have a little set of bows. These are from Modern Piggy and they are just a little gold set of bows because those will go with their coming home outfits. And then I do have two little pairs of socks here. Obviously with, um, with us having twins, I'm bringing two of most things. So two little pairs of socks. The reason I'm bringing wipes is because the last time I had a baby at this hospital, they just gave you like these little um, kind of paper cloth things that you had to get wet in the sink and it was kind of a pain in the butt <laughs> to get out of bed and wet them and they didn't really work all that well which is kind of annoying so I am gonna bring one pack of wipes I'm not bringing diapers or anything like that the hospital provides all of that and um, to be quite frank you're paying for it <laughs> if you have insurance or whatever you're paying for it so I'm happy to use all the diapers and you know, blankets and everything that um, they want to provide us, I'm happy to take because I am paying for it. <laughs> I am bringing a swaddle. This is from Little Unicorn. It is very soft, very light, um, kind of pastel colors. Um, this is for the sole purpose of picture taking, essentially, after they're born. So I'm bringing that. And then I'm bringing two of these copper pearl swaddles, which for me, these are like swaddle swaddles. These are for swaddling them up super, super tight. I am going to bring each of them a pacifier and a pacifier clip. I do not believe our hospital provides pacifiers. Um, every hospital is different and we may not use them right away. I just don't know, but I want to have them in case I, in case I want to use them. So yeah, these just are the little Jolly Pop pacifiers and the little clips that I ordered on Etsy. I'm bringing one burp rag. I cannot remember the name of the company, Fawn and Sage maybe. It's just a super, super soft, minky type burp rag. So I'm bringing that. Two extra hats, two extra knit hats. 
And the reason I'm bringing these is just because if they are born small and they are any difficulty regulating body temperature, things like that, a lot of times they'll have you put two hats on them instead of just one. And so I figured I would bring some extra hats just in case we need to like double hat them to keep them little heads warm. These are the coming home outfits. These are from Loved Baby. So they are just the little one piece sleeper things and these um, this is the size that fits four to seven pounds so hopefully these will fit them I don't anticipate them being over seven pounds yes you know if a Frisian is a draft horse I think they are yes okay thank you you're welcome I am going to pack them each a preemie outfit just in case at our ultrasounds they have been measuring pretty small, especially Ivy. So I am bringing two preemie outfits just in case we need them. And these are just for coming home. So I'm the kind of person that I like to leave my baby in just the little white kimono side snap things. You're changing their diaper constantly. You're doing skin to skin. Uh, I just, I'm not the kind of person that dresses my baby up in the hospital. Um, I also really love the in-hospital pictures where the babies, you know, you see their little yellow umbilical cord clip and they've got the little white shirts on and the hospital blankets and the hospital hats. It's just part of the like newborn baby hospital experience. I like taking those kind of like first couple day pictures just like that in their little fresh looking baby way and how they have like the little um their little skin on their feet and stuff is kind of sloughing off and everything so i i like that i'm not about dressing them all up in the hospital and stuff like that so these are just for them to come home in i have in here are just these two blankets that i showed you guys that i got from marshall's the cream one and the lavender one these are just heavier thicker blankets again these are mostly for the purpose of laying them on to take a couple pictures. I mean, that's all that I've packed for the babies. Um, like I said, the hospital provides diapers and you know, all that kind of stuff. And so yeah, I feel good about everything that we've packed for ourselves and for them. I do also have a third, another bag, a brown camera bag, and that will be where my laptop and camera and vlogging camera and all that kind of stuff, extra batteries, all that kind of stuff is in that bag and obviously y'all don't need to see that. Hey right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I apologize that I'm so like out of breath and everything right now. I just, I can't help it. I can't breathe. So it is what it is. 35 and a half weeks pregnant with twins. I can hardly move. So yeah, sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this what's in my hospital bag video and I will see you guys really soon. Bye.